We're going to solve, solve the equation, equation using, using tape, tape diagrams, diagrams doing, doing the algebraic, algebraic method, and checking your answer. We're going to do w plus 8 equals 14. The first thing we want to do is represent your equation, and please keep in mind that the equal signs represent both sides are the same. Let's go ahead and represent 14 using your tape diagram. Okay, that's going to be your 14. We're going to write the number inside. And now we're going to do W plus 8. So let's go ahead and do that. We want to keep the tape diagrams to be equivalent, the same size. And we want to do W plus 8. So we're going to probably say 8 probably is somewhere here. Your 8, and this one has to be your W. Now, now that we have done the equation, the next thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to do the same thing again, but this time we're going to start using the process. So I'm going to just copy the same tape diagram. Just going to bring it down here. And I'm going to do the other tape diagram. And I'm going to just bring it down here. Because now what we're going to do is the step where we want to find what W is. In this case, I am going to cut 14 right here since we know that this part and this part are the same. So those two parts are the same. I am going to get rid of the 14. This is no longer 14. This is no longer 14. So I'm just going to cross it out. But if I take away the 14 here, one number is going to be on this side if I take away 8 because now this is 8 so one number is going to be here we can count up or we can subtract we can say 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 so what number is that 1 2 3 4 5 and 6. So we can see the W is 6. Let's pretend that it was a huge number. You cannot do it in your head. Well, we know that the inverse of adding will be subtraction, right? So we could subtract 14 minus 8, and then that will give us the 6. So now we know the W has a value of 6. So here's your W, and that is 6, and both have to be equal. Now let's go ahead and do the algebraic method now. We're going to do the algebraic method. We're going to use a tape diagram to represent your uh, algebraic methods using numbers and symbols. Let's go ahead and just copy the equation W plus 8 equals 14. And we are going to be using referring to the tape diagram so that we can see how we completed the process. The first step here that we did was representing your equation. And then the second step that we did was actually trying to find the value of W. So we actually uh, got rid of the 14 and just made it 8. And to find the other part, we actually had to do 14 minus 8, or we count it up. But the inverse operation is subtracting 8. Subtract 8, subtract 8. So 14 minus 8 gives us 6. And then the 8 is going to disappear, and you bring the W down. So this step is the same thing as the step that we did here. Subtracted 8. And then your final answer, or your final step, is right here. Now that we have found out what was the value of w, we're going to comment here, and we're going to try to see if the w has a value of 6. We copy the equation again, and we're going to do substitution, meaning replace the w, with a value that we found. We said W was 6, 
we're going to come here and rewrite the problem. And instead of W, we're going to replace it with a 6. 6 plus 8. And now let's do what is 6 plus 8. 6 plus 8 is 14. And copy the other number. And you can see that both sides have the same value, which means they're equal. So the value of W, it is 6. So our solution is correct.